This segment brought to you by Wilson Combat. Hey, today on the Vickers Tactical Channel, we have one of the most famous bullpup assault rifles in the world, the FAMAS F1, chambered in 223 or 556. Now, this is the older FAMAS. Later on, the French military replaced it or upgraded it per se to the FAMAS F2. It took an M16 magazine. In addition, it had a 1 in 9 twist barrel, whereas the FAMAS F1 has a 1 in 12 twist barrel for 55 grain ammo. Now, the French military, because of the locking mechanism used, this is kind of a delayed blowback via lever lock. It's a very unique locking system. They use steel cased 5.56 ammo in their service rifles and they really recommend against the use of brass cased 5.56 NATO. Now I've shot a fair amount of brass cased ammo through my FAMAS with no issues at all. However, I could see based on the lever delay action where the steel case would be a plus, especially in a gun, let's say that's more worn or recoil springs that are more wore out and whatnot and unlocks a little bit quicker, I could see where the steel cased ammo comes into effect. Up front here, the semi-automatic FAMASs that were imported years ago, there was only a couple hundred of them ever brought into the United States or less, have a smooth profile barrel and a flash suppressor. The full auto ones have these ridges and this spring-loaded sliding collar to adjust the depth that a flash suppressor mounted rifle grenade slides down over top the muzzle and indexes down onto the collar. That's how you can spot a full auto versus a semi-automatic FAMAS immediately. No bolt hold open device, 25 round magazine. Now remember, generally assault rifle magazines are curved and there's a reason for it. The cartridge case is tapered. This is 5.56 and has a slight taper. It's a little bit wider at the base versus the top. Now, not so much so as a 762 by 39 or 545 by 39, and that's why you see more of a curve with those magazines. But in 5.56, a properly designed higher capacity magazine, such as 30 rounds or even 25 or even 40 rounds per se, should have a slight curve to it. Now, one of the downsides to the M16 family is they locked in that straight magazine well from the very start, from the earliest days of the AR-15, because even the 20 round mag should have had a slight curve to it. Actually shooting these guns, they're pretty slick, believe it or not. They're one of those guns at first glance, it's kind of ugly, but to be honest with you, when you get trigger time behind them, it's actually kind of a neat gun. A lot of people who just kind of poo-poo French guns right off the bat, as a general rule, French guns are very well made. They might have some unusual design characteristics, and the FAMAS is a poster child of that. But actually, well-made guns and in use, they're pretty solid firearms. I'm fixing to light it up on the range and give you some pointers of what it's like to actually get trigger time behind a full-auto FAMAS F1. Stand by. Okay, shooting the FAMAS. I gotta admit, this is, I like shooting this gun. All right, there's something unusual about it. It balances pretty well. It looks very awkward, but honestly, the balance point is about where the pistol grip is at. Now, it definitely has some unusual features. The safety is in the trigger guard, and it's a swing safety, okay? So when it's in this position, the trigger is blocked, and you can't pull it. All right, when you come this direction to the left, this is R, fully automatic. So when you get on the trigger, it's gonna run as long as you got ammo in the gun, provided back here on the trigger pack, 
you have a secondary lever. If it's set on zero, then that's standard fully automatic, which as long as you got ammo in here and you're holding the trigger to the rear, you're gonna run it dry. Now, you flip it to here, three shot burst. So when you're on R here and three shot back here, you get a three shot burst with every pull of the trigger. Now, I go to the other side, okay? Now, it's semi-automatic, one shot per trigger pull. It's not natural for a right-hander to swing the lever to that side. So obviously they have set it up, the French set this up, to where the standard operating mode for a right-handed shooter, which is the majority of shooters, is gonna be fully automatic. All right, some food for thought. Okay, now, another unique thing about the FAMAS has dual extractors, but the way it's designed, you activate one extractor or the other and you can switch this cheek piece from one side or the other to turn it to left or right eject. So you activate one extractor or the other to set it up to kick the brass out to the left or to the right. All right, going hot. Now, Buddy Hinton of Sturmgewehr.com fame sold me this really rare, you know, carrying handle scope mount upper receiver unit right here. It was expensive. I'm still looking to hopefully source the French Army optic mount that goes on top of this. The gun's somewhat modular, but not nearly so much as an M4 carbine or the M16 has been, which of course is defined modularity. You come up front here, of course, you have a spring-loaded collar, which allows you to adjust for rifle grenades. You slide rifle grenades over the muzzle and you can adjust for the range intended with the spring-loaded collar. And also right here, you have a sighting for your rifle grenades. Really slick. In addition, all FAMASs have their own spring-loaded bipod legs right here that tuck up on the side. Pull them to the rear, rotate them down. Now when you want to fold it, same thing. Pull it down, rotate it up. All right, going hot. Okay, FAMAS does not have a bolt hold open device. So when the gun runs dry, it does not lock the bolts in there. In addition, magazine catches right here. So magazine out, and I wanna put in a new mag. That's the way I do it. Interestingly enough, the FAMAS may be the only assault rifle I know of, or other than the very earliest AR-15 prototypes that had a straight 25 round box magazine. Most magazines that are straight for 5.56 are 20 rounds only, and when they get above that, they start into a curve of some kind. All right. There you go. Runs dry, you get a click. That tells you you need to reload the gun and get it back into action. Overall, cool blaster. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one, LAV out.